Hi, I'm Tom. And I'm Jerry. And we're going to present Taxi Cab Geometry. I teach math at Lee Davis High School in Hanover County. And I teach at Glen Allen High School in Henrico County. Hope you enjoy Taxi Cab Geometry. Yeah. All right, Taxi Cab Geometry. Where does it get its name from? Here's a grid representing city streets. City streets go this way, right? It's a lot like Richmond, Virginia. Okay? So a taxi runs down streets, right? This way, this way. Taxis don't go diagonal and knock down buildings. So thus the phrase taxi cab geometry, we're going to find out the distance between two points by measuring only horizontal distance and vertical distance. All right, so I've got point here. We'll call this point one. I've got x1, y sub one. And over here, I've got x sub 2, y sub 2. So let's use the distance formula. So we've got x sub 2, 0, minus 3, take square root, plus y sub 2, 0, minus 2, squared. All right. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared is 9. 0 minus 2 is negative 2. Negative 2 squared is 4. So 9 and 4 is 13. Square root of 13. So that would be the distance between these two points. So what do we do with taxi cab? Geometry. All right, we've got our same two points here. How are, we find, find the, how are we going to find the distance between these points using taxi cab? Remember, taxi cab can't go diagonally. So we've got to navigate ourselves horizontally and vertically to these two points. Alright, so in taxi cab, to find the distance between this point and this point, we can't use a diagonal this time because taxis don't run diagonally through the street and mow down buildings. So we've got to start here and count one, two, three. Okay? So this is a distance of three. And then the taxi cab turns and we go up. One, two. So we have a distance here of two. Now we're going to use a different type of formula. We're going to use absolute value. So we've got x sub 2 subtract x sub 1, absolute value, so distance is absolute value, correct? And then we've got y sub 2 subtract y sub 1, excuse me, it's absolute value. Well, here was our first point, 0, 0, this is x sub 1 and y sub 1. Here's our second point, this is 1, 2, 3. So we've got 3 two, up 2. All right, so here's our formula. So we've got x sub 2. Here's x, 2, y, 2. 3, subtract x sub 1 here, 0, plus y sub 2. 2, subtract y sub 1, 0. 3 minus 0 is 3, so the absolute value of 3 plus the absolute value of 2 minus 0 is 2. 3 plus 2 equals 5. So there's the distance between this point and this point if you're driving a taxi cab. All right, well, how about you try one now? Let's put a dot here. And then we'll put a dot down here. So let's see if you can understand this taxi cab geometry now. How, what would the taxi cab distance be between these two blue dots? Okay, have you had time to work on it? Let's see. Between the two blue dots, taxi cab geometry. So here's the car and it starts rolling, goes one block, right? So there's one. 
distance of one. Tax cap turns and goes up here. One, two, three. Right? So this is three. So we've got one plus three is four. So the taxi cab distance between point one and point two in the blue is four. Did you get that? So now that we've redefined distance in the taxi cab world versus the Euclidean world, let's look at a pretty surprising result when we look at one of our familiar shapes, the circle. Let's start over in the Euclidean planar world. So a circle, let me just draw one here. Any old circle centers at point HK. It's going to also have a radius of R. Okay. Recall that the circle is a collection of points equidistant from a given point, which we're calling the center. So distance is heavily involved in that definition. So we're going to expect to see some different results when we look at taxicab geometry. But let's recall the formula for, the, for a circle here. It's going to be x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals what? r squared. Okay, so what, put in the center points here, plug in my radius here, and that gives me the equation to map that circle. And that's the Euclidean geometry. Now let's let, move over to the taxi cab world. I'm going to put the set, uh, circle at the same center, HK. Okay, but I'm going to use my taxi cab definition for distance to draw my circle. So uh, the, the taxi cab says I, I need a radius of R, but I can only measure that in the horizontal and vertical directions. So if I go out a distance of R here, I'm going to have a point that's on my circle. Okay, I can do the same thing in the opposite direction. R here and R here, and I've got two points on my circle. Next, let's measure up, R, and down, R. And now I have two more points on my circle. So far, nothing vastly different from our Euclidean circle. It kind of looks the same. But it's going to get interesting. So how would I then plot these points that are between these four north, south, east, and west points? Well, let's just say, for instance, uh, going out in this direction, I want to travel a total of R distance, but in a taxicab way. So let's say I go out to one half R here. Okay, I've gone half as far as I need to go. Then I decide to go up instead. So I'll go one half the way up. And that point is going to be on my taxi cab circle. All right, follow that. So I need some more points here. What if I go out three quarters of the way in the horizontal direction and one quarter of the way in the vertical direction? I have total a travel of R, a total of R distance and I land here. And perhaps I go one-fourth of the way to the right, and then three-fourths of the way up would land there. And you can see what we've created here is actually a straight line. All those points on that line segment are equidistant from my center, using the taxi cab definition. So if I do that for the other three quadrants, I finish the plot of my circle. That is a taxi cab circle. Now, what would the equation for that be? It's going to be a, probably a bit different from my circle over here. And if we write it out, it's going to be x minus h, absolute value, plus absolute value of y minus k. No squares, no square roots. Okay, And that's going to equal r. Again, no squares. Quite a bit different from my Euclidean equation. That's the taxi cab circle. Okay, so we've seen how a taxi cab circle looks a little bit different from a Euclidean circle. But let's examine another component of circles, that um, constant that we call pi. Pi. So remember that pi is simply a ratio. It's a ratio of the circumference of a circle to that circle's diameter. So if I had to write that out, I would write circumference divided by diameter equals pi. And we know in our experience with Euclidean circles that pi is equal to about 3.1415 dot dot dot. OK, 
Okay, so no matter how big my circle is, this relationship holds. And that's how pi is defined. Well, what does pi look like in the taxicab world? Okay, well, we still want to say that pi is the ratio of circumference to diameter. That hasn't changed. But in our taxicab circle, what is the circumference of this? Well, the circumference of a circle is the measurement all the way around. So over here in this circle, it would be the measurement all the way around. So what, all, what is the distance here, say, just of this piece of the circle? Well, to go from this point to this point, I'm going to travel a distance of 1, back to the origin, and then up 1. So my total distance here is 2. Okay, Remember, I'm in the taxicab world. So each of these segments of my circle would have a length of 2. How much would my circumference then be? Well, that's going to be 8. What's the diameter of my taxicab circle? Well, the radius is here. Okay, remember, it's the distance from the center to a point on the circle. The radius there is 1 as we define this unit circle. So the diameter, I would have a radius of 1, a radius of 1 on the other side of my dam. Diameter is going to equal 2. So the circumference is 8, the diameter is 2, that reduces to 4. So in the taxicab world, pi equals 4. Kind of surprising. So, thanks for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed your ride. You've learn the difference between Euclidean and taxicab geometry with regard to distance between two points, and you've learned the difference between Euclidean and taxicab values of pi. So, uh, I guess from here on out, yeah, if you ever need a ride, give us a call. I'm Jerry. I'm Tom. See ya.